real party in Poland tonight if this man Thomas Golob wins this and I know what partying can be like here in Rotslav because well I think the Poles enjoy winning don't they yes they do this crowd will erupt if Thomas Golob wins it if Thomas loses you're gonna hear some a terrible whistling noise whistling through the stadium because they don't want their man to lose and the whistling is a sign of uh, not enjoying the proceedings well there'll be a few people back in Ipswich will be looking for success from this man remember we saw him get a 15 point maximum and Ollie Olsen the race director I'm sure that he wants to get home from Poland alive I think he might have something to say if Golob doesn't win it <laughs> well who knows Ollie Olsen uh, doesn't actually have any Danes in this one because it's just the pole and three Swedes and uh, they'll be ganging up uh, well you know they'll be riding for the, the, the blue and yellow Swedish flag I'm sure but uh, Thomas is, is uh, you know he can always pull something out of the bag at the end and you know Thomas is liable to do something absolutely drastic as we've seen so many times before well and it's which a couple of weeks ten days ago he was an absolute liar 15 points maximum, televised maximum in Britain. And, uh, well, here in Rotslav, there'll be nearly 40,000 people wanting him to win. As we look down on the contestants in this final. On the inside in red, Stefan Danner. Next to him in blue is Jimmy Nielsen and white Tony Ricards, all from Sweden. But that man on the outside in yellow and black, Thomas Goller from Poland. The current Grand Prix leader. Remember, he won the Grand Prix here in Rotslav back in 1995. The first Grand Prix ever was won by Thomas Golov. He's now 28 years old, but he's a super rider. We'll now see just how good. Can he win it again? Up go the tapes. Golov is taken wide, 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 but he's going through. But look out front of Jimmy Nilsson. If Nilsson holds it here, Nilsson will be the Grand Prix leader at the end of the night. Jimmy Nilsson's in front. Golov is going. The cheers are mounting. Golov is mounting his challenge. But somehow Jimmy Nilsson has picked up the right route. Jimmy Nilsson is under threat, but Jimmy Nilsson, with nearly half the race gone, is still out front. Can Thomas Gollum do it? The challenge will be tough for Jimmy Nilsson. That's right. Can Jimmy just keep that speed up for long enough? Like I say, I don't think he's enjoying that very much, but if he can put this one good ride together, then he can win it. Thomas is trying everything he can around the outside. He did there and possibly looked up a little, but now he's got to try it again. But the poles are cheering. You can hear the noise now as Gollum tries to pick it up. Jimmy Nilsson goes into the last lap now, still in front. Thomas Golob is mounting that challenge. Look at him on the outside. Can he pick up the grip? It's all going to be on the final bend. Jimmy Nilsson is up to Golob, goes through. Nilsson comes back. Golob goes too wide. Golob will come again. Oh, on the line by Hopper Wheel. It's Thomas Golob. Listen to the fans from Poland. They're jumping in the air. Jimmy Nilsson beaten by Hopper Wheel. The lead changed hands twice on the final bend. And Thomas Golob in the end the winner the poles have gone mad could he be world champion elect thomas Gollum moves on to 65 grand prix points and what a finish what a finale what a race doing credit to the final the checkered flag means a lot to 35,000 people in this stadium and an awful lot of money an awful lot of dollars to poland's highest paid sportsman and the cheers just tell you there as he bows to the fans how popular he is the flags are waving and it's party time in Rotslav tonight it's party time from gdansk in the north to katowice in the south and thomas golob will be celebrating with the best of them jimmy nelson in second place stefan dano in third tony ricardson in fourth Dano, uh, Rickardson and Nielsen are still in contention for that world title but Thomas Golov has well and truly stolen a march in front of his own crowd and I just wonder PC was it one of the best finishes to a race you've ever seen oh absolutely marvellous we had to wait until the last two meters of the track before we saw the result there and the way Thomas just gradually reeled him in the way he took him on that pitch turn was unbelievable because he came through there so fast he could have easily gone straight over the fence and into the crowd the speed he was going but he held it he kept it Jimmy came back at him then he got the wheels straight in line and straight back over the finish to steal it by about half a metre. And that, if he's going to win the World Championship this year, Thomas has got to do things like that. And he's halfway there right now after three rounds, and he's in the driving seat.
Thomas Golob then, a tremendous winner, the most popular man in Poland, and could he be the world champion elect on tonight's form with a fantastic...